All right. It's Thursday. Time to go on the docket with KMIR News legal analyst John Patrick Dolan. All right. Let's start right off with the Florida case. The rap music. A guy pulls into a gas station with his girlfriend, four youths, four youths, youths, youths <laughs> in a car playing rap music loud. Some sort of confrontation. This guy shoots, kills one of the kids, but is only charged with and claims self-defense, right? Well, well that's he's, yeah. he's charged with murder of the young man that was killed and attempted murder of the other three in the car. Right. And here's what happened. He, he testified that he was acting in self-defense, that he thought when the guy got out of the car because he was having a sort of a verbal confrontation that he was going for some kind of weapon, and so he shot him. And what the jury did was they couldn't come to a verdict on that, whether or not he killed the guy in, in, in what the, with malice of forethought, they call right. it, rather than in self-defense. But they did find first degree attempted murder on the other three, and here's why. Because they said, well, maybe, and they were, they were hung between first degree, second degree, and manslaughter. Maybe he really did fear for his life. It may have been a reasonable and unreasonable fear, but all of those play into whether it's first or second or manslaughter. But when you shoot 10 shots into the car where the rest of the guys are, you are now premeditating or you're planning. And so they said, we can clearly decide that it was bad and, and um, premeditated and with malice aforethought that he shot into the car. So we can find attempted murder on the other three. We're not quite sure whether or not there was self-defense here. A little strange. It, it, yeah, that's, even by Florida standards, that's bizarre. I was going to say, it another is. one out of Florida, and, right? And of course, faces 60 years, and the question now is, do you go back and try him again on the first well, one? Well, everybody said they're going to appeal the conviction, they're going to continue uh, trying to, they're going to recharge him and then try to retry him. But you're right, why? It's essentially a death sentence. It, well, 60 years for a guy that's in his uh, late 40s, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, let's talk about Miranda Barber. She is the 19-year-old out of Pennsylvania who allegedly hired or uh, responded to an ad on Craigslist for um, special time with somebody up there. And, uh, <laughs> with her uh, prosti husband. Prostitution is the word she's uh, looking I like the sound of special time. Yeah, yeah so special what time. you want to call that? Well, so, so, of course, she and her husband eventually killed this man, and they're charged with it. Yeah. What's weird about this case is then she says, oh, by the way, since I've been 13 years old, I've been doing this, and there's 21 other bodies strewn around Pennsylvania. Now, the interesting thing is whether or not that's just somebody saying this to, to get notoriety, uh, because she's crazy, or maybe crazy like a fox, as in, if that's what she's been doing, maybe then she's not exactly all there, and maybe that's a defense in the case that's before the court. Here's the big question. Is there corroboration, as in, can she point law enforcement to some place where there's remains of bodies, then that's a different story. Well, so far, no. And in so fact, far, in no. Alaska, they're saying there's no evidence. Yeah, so far it hasn't claiming. happened. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So okay. it's it's interesting. We'll have to watch this one. Mm -hmm. All right. KMIR legal ass John Patrick Dolan for Indeed. all your special times. Thank you, sir. <laughs>